Well, whether giving a gift or remembering a best friend, one North Texas teen turned her talent into a business. She is one of the young bosses we've been meeting this week. Consumer guy Steve Noviello has her story from Aubrey in Denton County. I kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to look pretty. Just have to get shapes down. For 19 year old Sydney Rodenroth, the delight is in the details. It really just comes down to observing everything, printing it out in your mind. She's just getting started at Collin College. This was one of our final projects. And this summer, her passion for pencil sketching pet portraits is earning her cash. I try to keep it cheap by, you know, art standards, art commission standards, um, just because I'm not the most famous artist in the world. So yeah. I don't want, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Starting at 70 bucks, Sydney will sort through colors and values and has even created some techniques of her own. I like to sometimes mix in white paint. I don't really recommend it, but <laughs> it works for me. The often tedious process takes anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks, with most of her creativity coming at night. So there have been times where I get two in the zone and then I just I stay up till like six in the morning and I'll look outside and be like, oh my gosh, it's six in the morning. <laughs> As if I didn't do that to myself. <laughs> her advice for other artists? Let yourself get frustrated. Let yourself be annoyed with what you're working on. The times where I was the most upset with what I was doing were the times I realized I was improving the most. She says it's those lessons that turn the lines on her canvas. Art comes down to how do I utilize those lines and bend it into what I need it to be. Into a portrait of your prized pet. Sydney says she loves pencil as her medium because it is erasable. While her first customer was her grandfather when she was just 16, you can be her next one. You will find this pet portrait business and 100 more kid-run businesses in the post pinned to the top of my page when you come see me online at facebook.com slash save me Steve. I'm Steve Noviello. That's my two cents. Spend it wisely.